Hi, this is Susan. We're going to talk today about something you don't hear very much of in real estate. We're going to talk about remorse. So this happens to buyers. It also happens to sellers, but we're going to talk a little bit more detailed. In this hyper competitive market that we're in today, sometimes it feels like you've won the lottery when you get the house that you've been searching for. But then remorse can set in. 75% of Americans who bought a house in the last year says they feel some type of remorse. And some of the factors include it's more maintenance than they thought it would be. It is that they've had to compromise on some of their financial status to be able to own this house. The location wasn't exactly perfect for what they were hoping to achieve in home ownership. And one of the big ones, the house they bought was actually smaller than they really, really wanted or felt they needed. So those are some of the topics that people who have purchased homes have talked about. Now here's the status that we don't hear very often. Buyer's remorse, as soon as you sign the sales contract, that's when a buyer starts second guessing themselves. Remorse can happen because it is a mental discomfort. It's a strong negative reaction to something that you're thinking about. It can be conflicting uh, information about a house or a location or any matters that maybe cause you to start nitpicking some of the little things that weren't exactly perfect in that house. Some of these buyers even want to back out of a contract. Now remember, in most cases, they have a great wants and needs list, and this is something that really fit the criteria of what they were looking for. Now they're thinking about giving that house up. So when we're thinking about buyer's remorse, and we're thinking about how it negatively can impact our choices, we have to remember, we as trained realtors feel comfortable with helping educate buyers on what the next step is in a real estate transaction. For a buyer or a seller, if there's any of this remorse setting in, it's great to have conversation with us as your real estate agent. 52% of people who enter into a real estate transaction feel some kind of doubt or concern. Even though you're ecstatic when you get the house, then you start thinking about the main things. Could I found a house that's better, that's cheaper, that maybe um, I'm just afraid of the commitment of home ownership? These are all things that are true, natural feelings that we can help you through. Thinking forward, thinking focused, thinking about what your needs were and how you fulfilled those will help you feel a little bit more comfort. It'll help you feel more focused and confident in your home buying and selling decisions. And as I said, sometimes sellers feel some remorse. Maybe they think, oh gosh, maybe it wasn't the right time to sell. Or maybe I just wanted to stay and I wanted to enjoy some additional memories in my house. It's all natural. You don't hear a lot about it, but it happens to all of us in a real estate transaction. Let us help you through the process of buying and selling. You can always reach out to us direct. Thanks.